Seminoles just wrapping up practice on this Wednesday evening. Welcome inside Doak Seminole fans. I'm Scott Kodak for Seminoles.com. Big news coming out of Florida State today is that the Seminoles will take on Oklahoma State in the 2014 Cowboys Classic in Arlington, Texas. But getting out of the game itself, the Seminoles really have just one football game on their mind, and that's taking on Northern Illinois in the Orange Bowl. For so many players from the state of Florida, it's an opportunity to play in the state they're from yet again and to play in front of family. We haven't been in a BCS Bowl game in, in a few years, so, so it's good to be back there. You know, that's where Florida State should be at in a, in a BCS Bowl. It's going to be fun. We're, we're looking forward to going down there and hopefully bringing back the Orange Bowl. It is the Orange Bowl, and ju it just so happens that the national championship is going to be played in the Orange Bowl. So it's kind of, uh, I've still been thinking about it like a national championship level. It's been a while since this university itself has played in the BCS game. So we're just looking forward to it. Happy to win the ACC and put our school back on the nation. I mean, back, you know, in that talk about ACC champions and stuff like that. So this will be the last time the Seminole running backs get to play for associate head coach Eddie Grant. They want to make the most of every opportunity. As of now, I mean, he's here coaching with us when he could be at his other school. So, I mean, that says something what type of man he is. And on top of that, you definitely, I mean, we want to do everything right, man. We want to send coach with a, with a, with a big bang as his goodbye gift, you know, um, just have a good game and just do everything perfect, everything that he coached us in just the FSU way. One thing that does help the Seminoles facing multiple different offenses each year, from Clemson to Florida and even B.J. Daniels at USF, the Seminole defense has seen it all. We, we face a lot of quarterbacks that can run, so yeah, we have a, we have experience for that, and uh, I think it's going to help us in this game just being able to, to be comfortable because it's something we've seen before, and so I think we'll be prepared for, for the quarterback. The Seminoles will practice again on Thursday afternoon, and of course we here at Seminoles.com will be here for all the complete coverage. So on Wednesday night, I'm Scott Kodak reporting for Seminoles.com.